Hello, I'm Kelly with fitnessblender.com and today I have a 10 minute abs workout for you. So you don't need any equipment for this at all, though you can always add resistance bands or a dumbbell in order to step up the challenge. I haven't included your warm up or your cool down, so make sure that you do each of those on your own. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to be doing active intervals of 45 seconds with 15 seconds rest in between each. You can use this in a lot of different ways. You can move quickly for more of a cardio workout. You can also slow it down and change the way you recruit your muscles. Slower is not necessarily easier. So we're starting off with a low impact star jump. So we're gonna sink down into that narrow squat, come up, raise those arms, get that side leg lift in there. So this is all about muscle control. So. We're not swinging or using momentum. And like I said, this is kind of a slower version. You can also, as long as your form is clean, you can also pick up the pace. So listen to your body and make this work for you and your goals, okay? Just pulling your core nice and tight. Make sure that you're, again, not using momentum. So your, muscle, your muscles are doing the work. No swinging. Five seconds left. All right, so next up, we're gonna have Captain Morgan claps and we'll do uh, two on each side before we switch. All right, so we're gonna start with those arms nice and tall going overhead and then come down to clap underneath your, whoop, underneath your leg twice. There we go. So as you can see, this is a bit of a balance challenge and those arms swinging around are going to make it harder. So don't feel bad if you feel a little wobbly. Just watch out for uh, your form. Really, you want to make sure that your hip, uh, your hip bones are not doing any twisting up or down, front or back, anywhere in there. So try to make sure that you're not compensating in your form or posture as you shift that leg up there. About five seconds left. All right, next up, we're gonna be doing a narrow squat in a row. So you're gonna find those feet in a nice close stance, pulling your core, just get really set up with those muscles, feel everything before you even start. I'm gonna be taking a low squat, or as low as you can, a narrow squat, and then rowing from side to side. So like you were really trying to dig whatever you're rowing with, nice and deep. So really exaggerate the motion. Daniel saw me doing this and we got into a debate about whether it was a kayak row or a boat row, decided it was really none of the above, but it was quite the conversation. <laughs> really focus on twisting, act like you're digging deep when you turn to the side. 10 seconds. Five. All right, so next up, we've got a wood chopper plus a cross knee pull. So this is another one that you can speed up or slow down and really change the dynamic of. We're gonna be taking a nice deep breath in as you reach up to one side and just like a wood chopper, you're rotating down. This time you rotate back up and pull that knee. So every time you come up, Bring the knee up across the body nice and strong and those hands down to meet it. So you're rotating down kind of the outside of the ankle and then rotate up on the opposite side. Keep going, you got about 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. All right, so next time, remember what side you were going down to. You're gonna repeat on the opposite side of the body. All right, five seconds of rest left. Two, and one. So down to this side, rotating up and across, and then strong knee up and across. And then 
Once you're familiar with the movement, feel free to pick up the pace, just as long as you're still doing a nice full range of motion. Fifteen seconds left. There's five, two, and one. All right, so next up, we're going to be doing uh, twists, torso twists. And then on the fifth one, we're gonna come out with a punch in front. So if you want to engage your lower body as well, uh, find yourself in a squat at least soften your knees right here. So we're gonna be doing five twists and then punch. One, two, three, four, five. So it should uh, get you on an opposite arm each time. Keep going. Pick up the pace as you get comfortable. All right, next up, we're gonna be doing a, a sumo squat hold plus really lovely side leans back and forth, which are going to feel both like a stretch and like work. So take that nice wide squat, find your stance here, arms out, and keeping nice and strong through the core, reach over and back to your center place. So like I said, it's a stretch and it's work. So keep those muscles nice and strong. Feel those legs nice and strong. Don't hold your breath. Under 10 seconds. All right, so next up, we are gonna be grabbing a mat and dropping to the floor. If you got carpet or soft surface, you should be fine. Otherwise, next up, we have side plank dips plus a knee up. So you can do this uh, from your feet if you like. It'll be a lot more challenging this way. Otherwise, have the arm overhead, dip, and then bring that knee up. Dip and up. So make sure your, sh your elbow is right under your shoulder joint. Press away so you're not letting your shoulder creep up to your neck. Don't hold your breath and feel free to stop and take a break anytime you need it. Just get right back into it. 15 seconds left. Five seconds left. All right, so of course we need to do that on the opposite side of the body. So get set up either in the feet stacked or knees stacked. Take a nice deep breath in and long exhale. Here we go. So knee up and dip. Have that leg kind of hovering out so you get a little leg work in there as well. This is another one that kind of feels like a stretch. Like right about here, it feels really nice. And then you start working a little harder. Keep going, 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Oops, slipping. Three, two, and one. All right, so next up, we're gonna be doing scissor kicks. So this can look a lot of different ways. Mine looks different than it used to right now. I'm rebuilding core strength, so I'm probably going to have my legs relatively high. If you can do this motion with your legs nearly parallel to the ground, go for it. For me, uh, trying to keep the lower body, or the, sorry, the lower back on the mat 
and then alternating those legs one over top of the other and you can <laughs> test it if you can watch out for your low back you don't want to feel any pain here but just test it by lowering those legs if you need to bring it back up it'll be less pressure on the core but do try to lower it enough that your core is engaged not enough that it's working and go ahead and pick up the pace if you can of that that leg motion there two and one all right so next up we're gonna be doing a reverse leg lift with one arm out indefinitely so this is gonna make our base a lot less stable so go ahead and pick your arm the opposite leg will be working so keeping that arm up just lifting in the back so make sure that you're not hyper extending on this arm here don't walk out your elbow make that arm work but keeping a slight bend in that supportive arm Keep your body facing the ground. Keep that core nice and tight. Under 10 seconds left. All right, so same thing on the opposite side of the body. So put that opposite hand down and we'll be lifting this opposite leg. Treat yourself to a nice deep breath. One arm up, opposite arm, uh, leg starts lifting. Again, watch that supportive hand, the elbow of that supportive arm. You don't want it locked out. It makes it easier. It makes it a lot easier if you lock it out, but you won't be working as many muscles. Halfway, keep going. All right, so next up we have toe touch crunch drops. So again, working in that lower body to ask for more of the core. So we're gonna have your feet, or your legs extended. I'm gonna crunch up and drop one leg. Crunch and drop one leg. You can even stay crunched if you like. Do not hold your breath, I know it's tempting. Keep that oxygen flowing. Don't use any swinging. Slow and controlled, even a tiny range of motion is just fine. Just do the best you can. All right, so that is our core workout already. So congratulations on making it through this short little routine. I would love to know what you thought of it. I would love to know what you would like to see next. Otherwise, good job showing up for yourself. Make sure that you're not moving on to another workout that you cool down when you're done here. Thank you for working out with me. Good job. Workout complete.